Glad you could join us. We are with Greg Angert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group, a James Beard Award nominee. The group includes Blue Jacket Brewery down by Nats Park. You've also got the Sovereign in Georgetown, Belgian Beer Lover's Delight, and uh, Red Apron Burger Bar in DuPont Circle. Greg, it is always good to see you. Too bad. Savor this weekend in D.C. Blue Jacket Beers featured there if you're lucky enough to have a ticket. What is on tap, however, this week? This week, we have a beer from Casey Brewing and Blending out in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. And I will say right away that this isn't the most available beer. You're going to have to seek it out, um, but it's well worth it. So It's got a blood um, stain on it. <laughs> it is uh, an amazing, amazing new thing. So um, Casey, Troy Casey is the, the guy behind Casey Brewing and Blending. We were lucky enough to have some beers from from their um, place out here for CBC, and then he sent some more, so uh, really cool stuff. He's located out in Glenwood Springs, Colorado, which is uh, about an hour and a half, or two, uh, about, uh, yeah, about two and a half hours, sorry, west of, of Denver. And he um, actually doesn't brew anything there, um, but, but in, instead buys wort, the unfermented sugar water that's spiced, um, and then ferments everything in oak barrels on site. And, uh, and then he creates masterful blends um, and a lot of fruited um, beers as well. So today what we're drinking is um, from the Family Preserves series. It's a mixed fermentation kind of Saison farmhouse ale base, fermented in oak, um, and then blended in this case with, it's always with a different fruit. In this case, we have it with Santa Rosa plums, um, which is really great. So let's taste so we can talk Ooh, more about it. Yeah, the color is uh, I mean, there's a lot of fruit unique. in this. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. That's nice. Delicious, bone dry, yeah. great oak, um, tannins and tartness interacting. You don't really know where the sour acidity begins and the oaky tannins stop. The, the plums are here. Plums are a really cool fruit because they are delicious, but they're not overwhelming. And I should mention that for, for Casey, they've got a, a bunch of different series of beers. And the, um, the fruit stand is the kind of the baseline fruited um, Saison series that they have. The Family Preserves kind of kicks it up a notch. So the, they add much more fruit to these. Um, and that's where you get all this haze from the plum mm. in the actual beer itself. But plum is kind of a delicate fruit. Um, they use Santa Rosa plums, which are specific type, originally grown in the early 20th century, bred in Santa Rosa, California, home to Russian River. Um, and uh, it's a plum that is really, it's, it's people, foodies love it. It's dark, it's rich. Um, tender and sweet, um, but they're not as big as the modern plums are, so you don't see them around as much. So a really cool fruit that they're utilizing here. So I am intrigued to learn what would you pair this with? So this is, uh, you know, a great beer for your for, for salads of all kinds. Just mm -hmm. thinking about how great it would go with um, just greens, uh, anything like arugula, spinach, um, escarole, anything that's kind of got some richness to it, kale, something that's rich and leafy. It's great with that. Then you throw in blue cheese or, or, or goat cheese or ricotta. It's going to be some nuts. It's fantastic. Um, this is really good with just like a roast pork tenderloin or a roast chicken. Acid to brighten it up. Um, it's going to play nice. A little bit of that earthy funk from the base beer is delicious with that. But the other thing that I think really works well with this is stews. Like if you do this with like a cassoulet, it really digs into that richness, um, opens it up, and is uh, it's fantastic. Because it's real. Uh Vinius, wine. Yeah, yeah, I exactly. Mean, you know, so o almost like, uh, yeah, it, it it is, and it's kind of rich. I mean, from the palate, you know, I think it's from the, from the oak. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I like oaky Chardonnays. I know some people don't. Me but, too. A little uh, bit, much anything. higher acid acid content than than wine, but for sure. All right, Greg. Thank you as always. Thank you, everyone. Please always do drink responsibly, and uh, be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week. <laughs>